Good morning, everyone. I just arrived back in Baltimore safe and sound, thank God. And I was about to tie my tichel this morning, and I pulled out my beautiful, beautiful teal shimmery, which I think I've been wearing since before shimmeries even became a thing. And I pulled it out, and I was like, oh no, there's this hole right in the middle of it. Ah, and like, this is a hole actually that has actually been there for a while because I wear this shimmery all the time. And I usually would just cover it up by putting something over it. But like, it, the way the hole is positioned, it's always so like, it's like right in the middle of like this part of my tichel. It's like really, really not nice. So I was like, what am I going to do with this shimmery? Um, so I looked at it and I was like, you know what? A lot of people will say that they love the shimmery, but it's really thick and it's hard to braid with. It's hard to do layers with. Um, and that's like one caveat, one thing that they don't really like about the shimmery is that it's a bit too thick. So I was like, hmm. Well, since I'm probably, I'm gonna have to get another shimmery. Oh, Shalom is on the floor. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, we're making a shimmery tutorial. Um, so since I'm gonna to have to get a new teal shimmery anyway, I was like, why don't I try making a sash out of the shimmery and then it will be a lot easier to braid and twist and do all those things with. So I ripped it in half just to try it out and this is the result. It's so thin. It's not, I mean, it's like a two-in-one now. It's, it's thin and um, obviously it doesn't cover my whole head anymore, but I used it as a sash and as a layering sash and it looks absolutely great here. What I want to try is I have now the other half of it right here and I'm going to try making an even thinner sh sash and I'm going to just show you how I did it. Now, if you are a careful person, then you might not want to rip it like I did. I like literally, where did I find that hole? There's a hole in here. Where is it? Okay, there was a hole. I know there was a hole. Okay. Bear with me, ladies. I know I made a hole in here for this demo. And now I cannot find it. Maybe someone's seeing it. I mean, this shimmery also, like, at the, at the front has, like, this thing sticking out. Okay, um, I guess I made it, but... It's not here anymore. Okay, so what I did is I'm gonna make I'm gonna make another hole, like the one that was before. Um, literally, just go in there and rip it, so you have a hole right there. See the hole? There's the hole. And then, if you want to use scissors, if you're a little more careful than I am, you can use scissors. But what I did is I literally went like this and rip it all the way down. So the one on my head is twice the width of these, but these are even more super thin. Like they're so thin and you can just use them as sashes and they look awesome. It looks like an extra layer of shimmery there. So that is how you can repurpose your old shimmeries that might have a hole in it. Okay, hope you enjoyed this idea and can't wait to see what you do with it. All the best. Bye everyone. Shabbat shalom.